Hi everybody and welcome. We are taking the hallway onto YouTube. So I'm super excited. This has been a long time coming. I was like, it won't fit on YouTube. It won't fit into this format, but we're making it fit. We're doing it because the hallway is really where it's at. You know me. This is the type of content that you guys love to see. So I'm making more of it. So today I want to go through a couple of really standard drills that you can do at home and off season or even in season when you're just not on the golf course because let's be realistic not everybody has time to go on the golf course every single day not even i do believe it or not so let's jump into it if this is your first time on this channel please subscribe let me know in the comments below what you think and give it a thumbs up if you love the video i cannot wait to share more videos with you and they're just gonna keep on coming all right so the first tip is with your hip shift and your transition so all we need is a wall this wall, this wall, if you're a righty or lefty, depending on which way you want to face, but walls is all you need. Sounds like a song. Let's make one. Super standard, but it's a really good drill for taking the club back and taking the club through. So backswing and downswing. So what we want to do is we want to get our outside of the left foot onto the floorboard right here, to the bottom of the wall. And then we want to make sure we want to kind of check how much space there is right here. And you can also put something in between here. So if we have a head cover or if we have something else, we can put that in between here. And I want you to, when you're going away, when you're turning, so I like to cross my arms here, I like to just keep that head cover there because a lot of people sway off the wall and they'll drop those head cover like that, just like you saw. And that's not ideal because if you start dropping the head cover, you gotta make, see how much space there is now between the wall and my hip? And you've really kind of lost tension. So now you can turn really, really far because your hip has kind of, you know, given way. And if you keep that hip on the wall, what happens is that you're now resisting with your lower body against your upper body coil. And that's what's really going to give you that. Oh, that's going to give you that snap back with effect down. So if you're someone who struggles with contact and penetration, where the ball comes off the face really well and like, like a bullet, like, then this is the drill for you. So just before you finish your backswing, I want you to start pushing into that head cover, into that wall. And that's really the start of the downswing happens at the finish of the backswing. So it's actually not two separate motions. The best players in the world actually move and into um, two different directions at the same time. So as they're going back and finishing their backswing, they're already starting to pivot and push with, into that left leg, into that wall that we have there. So that's what gives you really that separation. See how my upper body is still going right, lower body is already going forward. And that's what's giving you that torque to go through. So I hope this makes sense. And again, this is great for your backswing. It's great for your downswing. It really, really helps. And this is something that so many amateurs are lacking. And it really causes a lot of chunk trots, a lot of really weak contact, just no penetration, no like power off the face. So if you have a bad ball striking day, next time you find yourself chunking them and hit them thin, both can happen. Because if you're bottom out, if you move away from the wall, you can bottom up behind the ball. So either you hit the ground before, and if your body doesn't hit the ground, it kind of pull up. And that's where that thin top comes from. So really the chunk in the top can be caused by the same problem, by that same mistake of not having a stable body. Because I always like to think of it as a kind of gravity. And if you ask yourself, what is the center of gravity and the center of mass in your golf swing? And that's your body, right? And if you have a pencil up here and we're gonna just hold the golf club on the top, and I'm just gonna give that golf ball a little bit of a you know, a little bit of a momentum. So what it does, it's just always going to do the same thing because this part doesn't change. So it's just going to swing left and right, like any pendulum would. But what happens when I start moving the top? When I start moving the top, see how this golf club is going all over the place. And that's exactly the same concept that happens to you when your body moves in the golf swing because your arms are essentially that arm to the pendulum and your, you know, club is the extended pendulum. So if you start to move all over with your body, your arms have a really hard time catching up, syncing up, finding that bottom of the swing, and they have to compensate all over the place. So we want to make sure that the stabler this stays and this stays, and you turn around it well with some stability and with some resistance, the better you're going to come back to the ball. And that's really all the magic. 
So make sure you use your walls, use your hallways, where you need to have a hallway, you can just have a regular wall. I hope you guys enjoy this. Make sure you come here next time. There's a lot more great drills coming for you in this little indoor situation. And I cannot wait to have you join me on my session.